What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking a brand new brand, never before featured here, Young LA. Now I don't know about you guys, but I have been seeing them blowing up in real life. When it comes to Instagram activewear brands, this is excluding big names like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, brands like that. I feel like Gymshark is seen a lot, Alphalete, and Young LA. This is in real life, like what I actually see at my gym. Like you guys know, I go to a bodybuilding gym and I've been seeing a ton of Young LA, especially in the past year. I've been noticing them even more and more. So they're definitely a growing brand. Taking a look at their website, you can see they're definitely known for their streetwear. Very athleisure style, West Coast, Los Angeles. And today I'm really excited to share with you their brand new collection that's gonna be launching at the end of August. So August 31st, they're launching their new core collection, which we're talking about here today. But before we hop into it, you know the drill. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We are trying all sorts of activewear brands here on this channel, which of course includes Young LA. So if you're new, welcome. Definitely hit that subscribe button because we make videos just like this every single week. Over here, you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below as well. Everything in today's video is in my true size, small. I also do have a 15% off discount code that Young LA has given me to give to you guys. It is Ashley G. So if you use that code, it will take off 15% off your entire order, not just this collection, but anything you might wanna order from their website. And it does, of course, help go towards supporting this channel. All right, guys, are we ready to talk about this new core collection? Are we? I think we need to address the elephant in the room in saying that these people pieces are very similar to Alphalete Amplify. It is what it actually is. Alphalete's the OG when it comes to this particular style you're about to see. So this is Young LA's take on the number one trend in activewear. And almost every brand has their own version of this style. So there's loads of similarities, but some differences that I will be highlighting throughout the video. Let's go ahead and check out what we have here in terms of leggings. Now I have two colors to share with you today. I have a dark navy blue and a lighter color. It's more of a steel gray. These are the two that I was given, full sets. So we have shorts, leggings, and a sports bra to go with it. Starting with the waistband, we have a three-tiered ribbed waistband, very similar to Amplify, not as tapered though. So with that being said, it is not as compressive as what you might expect from the Amplify. You know how they're very compressive around the waistband. This one, not so much. I don't actually prefer a ton of compression. So for me, this was perfect. Nice, moderate compression. It didn't suck me in too much, but it's still still offered a decent support, kept things from sliding around. The logo. I mean, you have that chunky, bold, capital letter text that goes right around, sewn into the waistband. The text is super similar to the Amplify. What's crazy is if you look at the inside of the back of the band, real faint, it almost looks like it's just pressed into the legging. It has their logo spread out. Even if they literally took this exact thing, tonal and everything, put it right on the outside, a tonal logo would've looked really dope on this band. This way it mixes things up. That's the branding I was hoping to see, but they kept it on the inside where nobody can see it. <laughs> Okay, genuinely, I had to search far and wide for this logo. <laughs> I could see it more when I'm wearing the legging. When I look down, I see it. When I'm just holding it up, I'm like, where did it go? It's so faint, but it does say Young LA. But again, it's nice and spread out. Something I would have liked to see a little bit more of on the back of the band. So overall, you know, they added their own branding style in certain places. You know, this is my favorite type of scrunch. I love how natural it is. It makes the glutes separated and beautiful. I feel like my glutes look very juicy in this because there's not a ton of compression right back here. I'm telling you, my glutes felt very round and puckered. Bay was even complimenting the hell out of me, but nothing new there. At the lower part of this waistband, there's actually a little more of a breakup than usual. It's not as seamless as I've seen before in other leggings. I feel like this adds a little more compression at the lower backside, which makes the upper glutes a little more pushed down. I feel like my glutes look really round in these, I don't know. That's my assumption is that it has to do with that lower sitting waistband. So it's definitely lower than Alphalete. I can feel it on my lower backside. The scrunch is a little bit different as well. It's a little bit different because you have some more space in between the lower part of the band and where the scrunch actually starts. So basically the scrunch sits a little bit lower. I also noticed right above the scrunch, 
right below the band, there's none of that slight shaded contour. I know the amplifies, they have a little shaded contour underneath the band that narrows right down and points straight to the scrunch bump. They do not have it on here at all. If you're wondering about overall material, picture the amplify, they have identical materials down to the percent. There's also not as heavy as a marl. These again are just the only two colors I received, but from what I'm looking at right here, there might be the slightest marl, but it's barely even able to be seen. So it's mostly a solid color you're looking at here. Again, Again, I would say this is more of a steel gray. In some lighting, it looks like a very, very, very light blue. I know in some of my footage, right, I wasn't using a filter or anything. In the gym, it looked like it had a light blue tint to it. But then in this lighting, I'm seeing more of a cool light gray. Speaking of in the gym, I wore a very dark brown, thick Gymshark thong. <laughs> and I did some leg exercises. When squatting down in the gym lighting, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see that dark outline of the thong. Nothing showed through. It really held up great in the gym. Even wearing the black undies and squatting in them, it wasn't terrible. Was it sheer? Yeah, yeah, it was sheer. I wore black underwear and you could see that. But it wasn't as bad as I've seen, especially in this, this light of a shade. Now keep in mind when I do these squat tests at home, it's right directly in this daylight. I was even walking on the treadmill. Nothing was slipping or moving around. I think it's great for the gym. It's thin, it's breathable. I personally love this material because I don't like being sweaty. I don't like the feeling of feeling like I'm suffocating from my active wear. I love and prefer breathing breathability in my leggings, and this does that. So with the sweat test, you can obviously see it in the lighter pieces more so. If you're looking for sweat concealment, definitely gravitate towards the darker colors, but again, very great at wicking, super breathable material. Like other leggings this thin, you can't expect it to be really cellulite concealing. I'm five foot three. These were a little bit long on me. I felt like it wasn't as easy to shimmy around the material as say the amplifies. So with that being said, I felt like I had a little bit of excess material that would either lie around the ankles or if I really tried to shimmy it up, it would end up around the kneecaps a little bit. So a little extra material, I think overall though, with the sizing, I would stick with my true size small. If in between, I really think you can go either way. All right, if you prefer more compression, size on down. If you prefer a little bit of let up, you need some extra space, you love that extra room, then you could size up. This type of material with how stretchy it is, you could go either way, if in between. Now, in terms of the shorts, they are identical to the leggings. Obviously shorter, I would give these about a five inch inseam. They don't roll. You can actually feel a little bit of a raised seam down at the ends here. That's what's helping it grab. I know a lot of shorts are like that, like the Gymshark Vital Seamless has that. This one's not as intense as that, but with that being said, <laughs> <laughs> they don't roll, which is great, but they do cinch into my thighs. So if I'm in between with the shorts, because I'm so finicky, I'm gonna size up next time. I feel like they were a little snug around the thighs. If I'm gonna wear them, I need a little less snugness. So getting away with a medium probably would be best for me. Let's take a look at these matching sports bras. So they're coming out with very low support, V-neck, adjustable sports bras. It crisscrosses in the back. You do have adjustments and removable bra pads. I think the back is really cute. Very dainty. You have the very open back, yet you have a pretty ribbed band right at the bottom. Again, you have the matching white text that's sewn right into this band. If you flip it, Right inside, again, you have that embossed, barely there invisible logo spread out that I love so much. I'm about to wear this inside out just for the freaking sake of it. The V-neck is a nice touch. It is very pretty, very flattering on the gals. I definitely had to adjust this at the gym, straight out of the package when I put it on. I thought it was fine. So I started working out and I'm like, oh my God. Like it was coming really close to my nip showing. Then I adjusted it and it was fine. Actually fairly comfortable for these straps being as thin as they are. This is very comfortable. The straps themselves, not very stretchy though. So I don't believe these would be very comfortable for all day wear, but sexy and flattering at the gym, hell yeah. Now do keep in mind at the underbust here, it is a ribbed band, but it's not an elastic band. So don't get it twisted. You don't have that extra elastic band support. It is just a ribbed band like the leggings. The only reason why I say if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down is because there are adjustable straps. And for me, I know there is a little bit of room right here. It's a little stretch at this ribbed band 
Now, it depends on your bust size, but it also depends on your under bust size. Everybody's different, all right? We might have the same exact bra cup size, but be different right around the rib cage. So therefore, you would be like, wait, Ash, I should have sized up in this bra. It is very hard to make generalizations, which is why I really try not to. <laughs> With how lightweight and tiny this top is, it actually held up pretty well at the gym. When I raise my arms, it doesn't shift or move around. So overall, I do believe the quality is there. Working out of the gym, nothing was pilling. I didn't have that weird roughity duffity on the side, you know, when you like rub plates and stuff. I tend to look at the leggings afterwards to see if there's any pilling, any weird rubbing, anything that can indicate it being a little too fragile for weight training. I felt like these are great. At this stage in the game, I don't think it's a question of whether these brands are gonna be coming out with this style. I have seen this one too many times. I mean, we just kind of reviewed this with Women's Best, ton of Amazon brands doing this style. But what it does boil down to is the quality of how they do it. What's the quality like though? I mean, y'all remember that Define video, right? This is why we review these pieces. That's the whole point of this channel. <laughs> Unless you really like me for some reason. Nah, that can't be it. Last but not least, let's take a look at this pump cover, shall we? Now, I received this brown. It looks like a dark brown color. First thing that caught my eye was all of this. That drip, drab, that swag that Young LA is known for, dude. This is what I was hoping to see a lot more in this collection because this is their brand here. This is it in a nutshell. When I think Young LA, this is the style I think of, okay? A little bit of grunge, West Coast, colorful, swag. Those are the random thoughts in my brain. I really like this ombre gravelly design that they do with the text here. If you look closely, it fades into a hollow letter towards the bottom. The drip is dope, I really love that. And then they did the same exact style with the drip on the front. Right on the left hand side of the chest, you have the YLA abbreviation. Very comfortable for the gym, very stretchy. It still has that cottony base we love, but there's some spandex, some stretch going on in here. Now this is a small, it is naturally oversized. I would not size up for an oversized fit. This gives a perfect oversized fit for me. I wore this as a pumpy, tucked it up underneath my bra, looked super cute. Something as simple as this type of pump cover, thrown over a set, really adds that level of spunk, of attitude, personality. <laughs> So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, obviously comment down below. But if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more from Young LA, please do me a favor and let me know because I'm dying to try more. If you're a fan of Young LA and you've tried certain pieces that you just love, suggest them so I know what to grab next time. They just released a cargo style pant that they styled so beautifully on the website. And I knew right then and there, I was like, I need to try that. Again, don't forget my code AshleyG saves you 15% off of your entire Young LA order. And thank you so much if you do use it. This also helps go towards helping in this relationship here with Young LA to keep these hauls coming your way. That rhymed, I didn't even do that on purpose. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.